We're back at it, ladies and gentlemen. Hardcore season one. Are you ready? What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode one of the Hardcore series. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as hype as I am, I hope you're hyped as well for this new season. The first season, I should say. The first episode. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the rules for you guys. For those that are not really understanding what the Hardcore series is compared to, like, say, like our Ride Riches series. And that is we are not allowed to do a few different rule sets. And that's going to be rule number one. No use of Fleet Market. Rule number two is going to be we are not allowed to trade the traders with money. We have to do with barter items, which we've done a season in the past. It was not um, was not exactly what I was hoping for because we, we were about to fit, do some cool stuff with it. But then, unfortunately, the, the the game wiped, so we couldn't do anything with it. But this time around, we've got some options. We're going to make it happen and have a good time. Let's get some of these moved around. I'm doing this on a get or on a Edge of Darkness account, so unfortunately I have to do a couple modifications to it, which is gonna be that right there. Cool. And then we'll delete these rounds here. Normally I do this on an alpha alpha account, but I've got something planned for that other account that we got. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Also, we are going to allow healing uh, after raids. So if we do die, if we get hurt, I'm gonna allow he healing uh, just because with the changes with the game over and over and over, uh, I think this is an okay thing for us. Other than that, uh, we're not allowed to team up. Uh, we can obviously use VoIP. Um, we can either tell the person to back away or uh, we fight them. That's pretty much how we're looking at it. Uh, no assuring of items. That's really the biggest thing too. And yeah, pretty much just see what we can make happen. Well, as far as the Gamma container goes, we're only allowing keys and we're only allowing money. Those are the only two things we're allowed because obviously we can use money for the vehicle extracts and yeah, it would be good. Like I said, goal of the series is going to be level 42 and you know try to go as much as possible for the hideout. Hey, maybe we'll hit the full hideout. You never know. I think we could do it. I think we could definitely do it. Let's go over here. I think I have to identify everything. I do. So we're going to do this slowly but surely. But I'm going to also attempt a kind of a goal. Now, obviously, there's certain tasks that we need to complete because they're going to be... Well, they're going to be obviously required for us to finish um, to get certain items that we normally wouldn't get. But I want to set like a miniature goal for us this season, for the first season here. I want to try and do all of the dailies and the weeklies. We try to complete those. And it's going to swing us to go to certain places we normally wouldn't do. Like, if, you know, if we're working on a goal here or there, instead of going to like, say, customs to do a, like a task, we'll have to go to like, say, reserve to do something. I think it'll be fun. We're going to try to complete every single week. We're going to, we're going to try to complete, or even daily. We're trying to complete all the dailies as a little, little bonus onto our side. Because obviously we get items from that. We get XP from it. We get money from it. So there's a lot of good rewards for us to be able to get from doing those. And it's going to make a pretty big influence on the series. Because, you know, when we when we did the, the testing hardcore series a long time ago, back in like 2020, it, they didn't have those. So it, it was basically see what you can do and make something happen. But I'm thinking while we're talking about getting into a raid, I'm thinking about going over to reserve first. Obviously, I typically, when I do on a Ragged Riches series, I try to get ourselves as much healing items as possible at the beginning because we're going to be using a ton of them and just to keep us alive. But also, stashes are a big thing that we need to look into. So I'm thinking. But right now, we're going to go over to reserve first. We're going to try to find a weapon in one of the crates, but we're also going to see about looking for some medical supplies. And that's how we're going to start off for the first episode, which will be good. We'll get some nice items, I'm sure, out of it. Or we'll die a lot. This, this type of uh, gameplay, you just never know what's going to happen. I think that's almost everything. We're looking good. Don't forget, guys, for this first episode, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Let's try to get ourselves, let's say, let's go for 100 and let's go 200 likes. I want to bump it up. We're at 50,000 subscribers now, so I want to bump it up to 200 likes. Let's see if we can smash that goal and make it happen. I think we can. Uh, beyond that, again, if you guys have not yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell. I want to finish up the rest of these, identify everything, get our tasks, 
and I'll see you guys in raid. So I have to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? All right, let's get her going. Let's get her going. Let's find a weapon. Get this place started. Figure do it nighttime, right? Be a little more incognito. Be able to do this. We get around the map, not to worry about players. And also about the thought about doing a stash run, but I'm like, you know what? I feel like everyone does stash runs first, which is what it up a little bit. Plus, we have available to weapons, we have available to medical, and also some pretty good, well, chances to find some decent loot. What we're doing? That's what we're gonna stick with. Great, so a lot of stuff is locked behind doors, which you know, to be fair, is a downfall. However, there are a lot of boxes, so that's what I'm kind of going for here. Uh, I wonder if I could quickly hit the bottom here. Or anyone else does. Oh, no, no. Hook a left. Hook a left. Hook a left. I do have to be careful because there's a spawn that's like right here. I don't need that. It's going to be a little dark for a moment, so I apologize. We are going to find something. Holy cow, energy goes real fast. Okay. We got that. That's good. That's a very good item. It's a backpack. I was not expecting a backpack, actually. Come on, give us a weapon. Oop. Grab a nade, grab a nade. That's a trade for a grenade. That's an actual grenade. All right, we were, we're, we're looking okay. All right, I need to get some some water and, and energy real quick. Be right, careful of raiders because they can spawn like right around here. Here's my thought process now. Now that where we're at, I'm gonna check this too because we're right next to the weapon spawn. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Since we have the backpack now. This can give us quite a bit of options. I'm thinking about going hit up all the medical spawns real quick. Grab some food so we have some stuff to bring into raid. And, you know, if it's not places like we're going like right now. That's probably the best idea. And then we can take the... Oh, we have a backpack. Ooh. D2. We'd have to take D2. Which should be fine. We can take D2. It's not the worst spawn ever. Granted, I could also take some Wilstons and whatnot for that task. We'll hold off. We'll hold up for now. Do, do. Come on. Give us something. I'm trying not to use the Jashanka because obviously that's used for a task. Come on. Give us more. Give us more. I mean, they're tempting us, though, you know? They're like, hey, look at all these items right here that you could take right now and get the heck out with. I'm like, you know what? We'll wait. We'll wait. All right. Part right here. So we're going to take a right. Take another right. And we're going to go right over to the medical. Just a sandbag. I thought it was a player for a minute at the corner there. It's a bit scuffed here, though. Got to be careful. The chance of somebody being in here is kind of high. Medical. Blood set. However, the longer we go without a weapon, this, this could turn out quite negative. So, we do need to find something quite soon. Something. I'm thinking maybe, though. Here's my thought process, okay? I'm going to shoot that thought process at you guys for just a moment. Why don't we grab our medical... Which is obviously needed. Once we grab the medical, we can head over to, like, say, interchange next. Check the stash is over there. Have a chance to find some good stuff. That's actually a decent trade. Uh, oh, cool, nice. Ghost. Have a chance for a weapon throughout the stashes. We could also do Shoreline. Shoreline's very good for stashes as well. 
Clean mouse kit, nice. Alright, I'm getting kind of overzealous. I gotta focus on medical. That was our focus. So there are some options. What is this? Oh, adrenaline, nice. You know, I would be able to tell you what it is if it wasn't so dark, but you know, we're we're doing this in the shadows. They don't know what we do in the shadows, and, and they don't need to know, you know. Do, 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 do. I will basically narrate this whole thing for you, ladies and gentlemen, until we find the gosh darn night vision goggles so you guys can see. Got nothing on there. Anything on the ground. Oh, there's something on the ground, but we don't need it. Well, maybe it'll come into use. We'll see. Looks like everything. Surprisingly, no matter, no, like, say the was or IFAX, that's kind of odd to me. I was expecting some. However, we are getting a bunch of stims, which is nice. Say it well. Before I break the rules within five seconds, I'm going to make sure that I put that away. Something. I didn't want to hit the medical bear. Uh, like the, like the, what do you call them? I want to go hit up the, the medical crate. But if there's someone down there now, they can turn out real bad. I got food, water, food, water. Get rid of the splint. Get the bandage. I think it's a better option. I think it's a better option. I'm not saying it is, but I think it is. Should be one more crate about the staircase here. A lot of BP. A lot of BP. I kind of want to take that. Oop. Just in case, you know, we do find something. No keys or anything. Propyl. I want to be attachment. I'm going to grab this attachment instead. Okay. We got a full backpack. We're full here, too. I think that is going to be a good plan, actually. Let's get the heck out of here. Check to see when flip the switch. They have not. Which is, this is it's a good thing. Son of a dingleberry, there's already people there. What's the sense, Gav? Bunker. We're gonna have to take the hermetic. We can make it. We can make it. This is gonna be a little dangerous. Nope. I lied to you all. We're not going that way. Ah, <laughs> uh, tagging curse, it sucks. I'm going to have to do this. Go up top. I gotta go pull the pin on this uh this machine gun here. If there's any scavs in here, we have a chance to shoot them. Sadly, I do not see any though. I'd like to get to the helicopter. There are a lot of spawns over there. Let's go do that. Check this box. And then off to the helicopter we go. Then we'll turn on the hermetic and we'll get out with what we got. Which isn't a lot, but it's something.
Go, 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 go. Cover a night. Now, if you love us, Tarkov, you will give us a weapon. If you love us, you'll give us a pistol. Nope. Nothing quite yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sadly, no. There is, oh, there is a rifle. Like a natural rifle spawn, too, behind us. Weapon. Hey. You know, I'll, you know, I'll take it. Less than half. I'll take it. Even what I'm going to do better than that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to unload this. The exact amount so I know one. A single shot. Well, if I see a scav, basically don't miss the shot. Let's just find more ammo. Then, then we have a chance to miss some shots. Come on, bigger weapon. Maybe? Definitely. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that one. All right. I can work with that. I'd like to find a scab on our way out. I'm gonna have to pop the hermetic. They turn on D2. They do. They did. So they're gonna take D2 out. Which we could as well. We don't have to rush out like that. Oh. Ooh, very good rig. That's very good rig. No, now I kind of don't want to risk it. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Check a couple things here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the Elite. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> we're going to... Get to the exit. Ah, there we go. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of hoping for one scab to get my way. Chance for another weapon. Two there, but I can't see their heads. Take it easy. Take it easy. Good thing is 545 is quite relatively available for us. 
So we've got that going for us. I think we got raiders. try to get out of this so we can come right back in and actually now that we got what we got i think i am gonna come back in and come back in again at night if we get a couple like things set i think our night raids are gonna be our best option for now oh someone's already hit up the box oh hmm. that's fine like I said, we still came out uh, with a decent amount of stuff. This will work. This will be really good, actually, for us. Energy water slow, but like I said, we'll come back and get all this done. I like it. I like it a lot. Can I? No. I know the attachments for it. That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to drop all this stuff off, and we're coming right back in. We're taking them on. All right, let's hit we're in. Let's get some munchies going, though. <clears throat> we need to eat up. Oh, no. Hold on. Let's get the door open first. Wouldn't be the worst idea. We can go down. Go down first, see what kind of items we can find. There are a few weapon crates too. Trying to uh, trying to get some more weapons wouldn't be the worst idea too. But I brought in Sega 9 and then I brought in a few other items. So, looking good. I also uh, played around the idea of going to Shoreline. It, it's not a very exciting run, I can tell you that. But I thought about going to Shoreline and doing the village run that some of you seen. Some of you that are, that are new probably not seen it before. But to get our hands on some keys would be probably a good idea. So, I'll dabble with it. I'll dabble with the idea. Maybe we'll do that soon. Honestly, though, like the the bag we got, this is probably probably the best outcome we got. With like the with the rig and everything, not bad outcome at all. What's in this? T. Not about what's in it. It's about what it can do. Pistol, get it out of here. We don't need that. Shit out. I really need to start focusing on some hideout stuff too. Wouldn't be a bad idea to like, you know, interchange. Obviously, he's got really good loot for it, but also, it's not a bad map either. Do it too on reserve. There's a lot of different uh, toolboxes. Nothing there. Get a bit of the coughs today, apparently. Going. We got D battery. Oh, you know what? Take the take that as well. As the Ed's lamp's not bad either, because there's also some trades for that too. And I need to remember, like, hey, when you focus on trading, trades can just be very, very good for us. Plus money. I gotta start grabbing more money. Because we're allowed to hold on to that. And Euros. We got every one of them. And of course, there's a chance to stuff make it drop. But hey, we'll grab everything we can right now and go from there. I think I brought like 20 rounds with us. I don't think I brought anything else beyond that. Go, 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 go. In there okay we don't need to go down for now because obviously we don't have d2 on but if we find some good stuff you know d2's d2's right here it's a good exit got tubes there just checking along here see if there's any good items go, 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 go. Now, obviously we know there's a player that was in the last raid i'm sure we're gonna run into one or two of them this time again Majority of people are always going to play daytime maps, and you know, rightfully so. But there's just something about doing night maps, about having to be a little more sneakier because 
every little tiny movement will, will count and someone's gonna be listening out for it. I don't know. It gives, gives a little something something to it. What you got for us? We'll take some attachments, alright? We got some options open for us now. We don't want that. Don't need those. Eh, we'll take the grip for now. Alright. Here's the scary part. Whether or not there's raiders. Doesn't seem like it. But they do actually move around. Like, so I, I always thought they would just add like these two side entrances and that was it. And if you didn't see them, like you were you were in the clear. Nope, turns out completely wrong. Completely freaking wrong about that. Because they could spawn like way more multiple places than that. And apparently Apparently scavs have very good aim. <laughs> he blasted us once with a shock. What did I'm guessing slug? No, buckshot. Buckshot. One shot. Huh. That was unexpected. I expected for him to come at us, but... One shot took us out. Wow. Alright. Let's get geared up again. We'll take the helmet. Even though we didn't even get shot in the head, we got shot in the stomach. And we'll save this for later. Yeah, this is pretty much all we got. We're going to have to find some more ammo for this gun because we only got the one mag. It'll be interesting. Actually, I wanted to go look. I don't think I had the grenade tray, do I? No, it's going to be level 2 mechanic. But if we save them up for now, we'll have them for later. Huh. I think we're going to... You know what? Let's do this. We're going to skip reserve. We're going to go over to Interchange. I'm going to do my quick stash run I would normally do because we can find some pretty decent items while throughout that stash run. And if we don't find a ton, we're probably going to go under underneath through the, bo the bottom of the mall and try to collect some more weapons and some attachments. So let's go with that plan. Let's do this. All right. Let's give this a go. Actually, we got one of the better spawns to do this. So we got... A very long route, which is really nice. We start here, swing all the way around. We have a lot of stash to hit. Although I gotta be careful. Cause there is a spawn just on the other side. So I'm gonna kinda wait for a second. Chill for a moment, see if anyone comes this way. Mm. He should instantly come this way. Well, there he is. What I say? If I brought that nade with me. This be a real good win. So he's gonna keep pushing. Ren's gonna come from behind. Like clockwork. See, in a situation, situation like this, I, I'm just not going to do it. Because you got to remember, unless they were both, like, super steady, which they're not. They're, they're consistently moving. Cool. They're out of range. We can run now. I don't have any healing. That's the problem. We're saving that save the law for, you know, to turn to the task for therapists. And sometimes you got to choose your battles, especially on this type of uh, gameplay. Choose what you're, you know, every single battle you decide to do. Because, well, I get shot once from them, I'll start bleeding. Do I have anything to recover? Nope. And that's the problem. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ten rounds. We can work with it. Not what I was expecting, but I can deal with it. That's an extra weapon. And you never know. We may run into those guys again now towards the exit since we're going to take a little bit longer route. Gosh, that was good though. It's a good call. Good freaking call. I'm glad I didn't move any closer. If I had something steadier, something that uh, had a little more punch, I would have definitely shot at both of those guys. 
They were they, they were just walking. They had a little slow pace. You have to maybe pose. You know what? If I was in a prone position, that'd be an even better shot. You know, it's not even worth thinking about. It's not even worth like you know bringing the brain around about it because you know it happened. It happened. It didn't happen. We're just gonna move on for our life. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, we're really hoping for a few things here. One, a rig, which is possible. You can even find armor rigs inside the stashes, which I thought was very curious. I'm like, how the heck did you fit that down there? But lo and behold, you can. And then two, obviously, we're gonna try to have a chance for some food. That's what we're looking for. Maybe some weapons. And we'll call a fancy day. Let's do it. Now, there are people that are still going to be running this route still, even this far into the wipe. We have to be a little bit cautious about that. I'm also hoping that maybe some scabs will spawn while we're, while we're doing this route. Ooh, someone's already come through here. All right. We got a competitor, ladies and gentlemen. So interesting. So I'm going to guess the guy spawned out here in the fields. Just ran that route that we were coming from. Did he hit everything though? I'm guessing he did. Oh, bud. I have to go chase you down now. You're on my territory. And I can't have that at all. So I'm going to take you out. Sounds like he's over towards the middle though. By the scab. So we got to move it. Got to move it. Can't have people try to take over our stashes. That's just sacrilege. We can't have that. Let's watch out for any potential fighters. I don't want to go too too fast because if he was, if he is like closer to us, then there's a chance. Obviously, we're gonna get shot because the hero's coming, but. Also can't go too slow, because if we go too slow, we're going to miss out on the chance for all the loot, because you can just take everything out. So yeah, this has all been hit. He's already on a phase two. Well, the mall's looking more and more vi viable for us to go into. So let's keep moving. And again, I should probably... Re I, I want to recheck those, I do. Because obviously, this guy's probably just going for some valuable loot to sell. Oh my god. My man, I'm in hot pursuit of a of a PMC, okay? I don't need to be fighting you right now. I think I killed you? Yeah, I did. I'm in hot pursuit, okay? We don't have time for your scav shenanigans. Man, I could get away with all the loot that we were looking for. But I will take you. Thank you. Oh, I can't put it in there. He's got stuff. And we got lunch, which is good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, cool. Morphine. Eggs. Good. This is 762. What do you got inside? Ooh, don't lay down. P45M1. We'll work it. We'll work it. We shall work it, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta get moving. Got to get moving. I don't know how far they would have got. And I wonder if he just some people will do this. So they either do the they'll do the full stash run or they'll hit those stashes up behind me and they'll go right into the mall. But not very often, but it can happen. So we're gonna see about what what this guy's up to. Okay, he didn't hit this one. I'm guessing he went straight inside. Or he died. One of the two. Okay, I've got some water. And a helmet. I guess the helmet was the more important thing that we got there. <laughs> I'm more, I think I'm more worried about the metabolism than I am the actual armor right now. I was like, ah, we can get armor later. No big deal. But shoot, we don't have that water. It won't even matter. Let's just keep moving on the path. Keep moving on the path and see what we get. To keep them running to a minimum so we can keep the stamina up. I don't know if this is just too high ground here or something, but I never like I can I can never get the running the, the running over. I for some reason I just can't do it. My my character will not go over. A lot of drinks. Okay. 
you know, I'm not complaining. Drinks would be helpful. Got that. We got what? One, two, three, four, five more sash to go. We actually may be okay. And we get out what we need. Just this raid. I don't seem to have any combatants coming along this direction. And that guy definitely just hit up those stashes and ran into the mall, so. Good on him. Good on him. He's going in. We're not quite ready for that step. I think once we have enough medical supplies to keep us going for a while, that will be the time we move in. Sure, I'll take it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Once we get some armor, we get some more access to more ammo too. Really good too. Oh, you know what I gotta keep an eye out too for? I gotta keep an eye out for the clean, which is like the like the spray bottle cleaner. Because you can get uh 545 with that. Pretty good 545 trades out of that. I need to make sure I do that. Oh, we got stuff. We got medical. We have got medical. Ooh, okay. Got a power bank. We guess we ooh, this is actually all pretty decent stuff. I'm gonna eat the crackers actually. You working on that metabolism. Yeah, we got a car med kit that's gonna help us out with a little bit of healing. Won't do it for anything with the heavy bleeds, that's the problem. We gotta keep moving because of that. Keep moving. I'm excited though for this season, ladies and gentlemen. I really, season one is always the more exciting seasons because it's like it sets the basis of what we're looking for when it comes to is to like kind of like the Red Ridge. We we set a serious goal and we set like a standard for ourselves. So I'm very very excited for this. There's a lot of things you can do too. Obviously, we have to focus on like what kind of trades we can get, how we can do it. Oh, that's fuel. That is fuel, and I wouldn't mind that at all. I'm making some sacrifices here. I want that badly. <laughs> we should do this actually. Boom, boom. Drop it. We got fuel. Now we don't. Well, I mean, we do have to find parts to actually get it running. But hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't remember exactly which parts you need. I, I, I typically would have the chart up, but I'm really focused on just getting like episode one for me. Is, like I said, weapons, medical, and then armor. If we can, if we get lucky. I'm not really like pushing the armor thing just yet because, well, there's not always a chance to find that stuff. If there is, well, if we get it, we get it. But I'm definitely going to be focusing on, the, on that hideout soon. Only just for the one because of all the crafting you can do. Like, There's so many crafting options. So many things that you can get that, that are essential to yourself because obviously we can't, we can't trade anything for money. So we have to do a lot of different barters. We have to do a lot of crafting. And the hideout provides a lot of that stuff. I mean, heck, we can get freaking we can we can get the the thermals ourselves, but that's that's way down the road. That's like level three workbench, but it's still possible. Mustache, okay. You know what? Mustache actually sells for pretty decent money. I need to drink some up anyway. Let's drink up. And yes, milk does have a trade or two, but. We'll find more milk. There's a lot of milk out in the world. Go, 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 go. Armor? No, I'm gonna guess maybe a gun? Nope. Man. Oh? Oh? Hello? Hello? Should drop it right here. Yep.
I think this was honestly the best case scenario for us. Because people now have to go out the front side or back side to try to locate it. And half the time you don't see it from the side. Golden. Be careful of this, but at the same time, I think we're okay. This is really good stuff, actually. Good start. Oh, that's... Oh, God. Take it. Move it. That's 300. Do, 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 do. Armor, armor. Drop it, drop it. Take it. Take it. Can I technically speaking fit more into this? But I won't have double backpack. That's the problem. You don't have a double slot. You take up a lot of room. Oh. Stick with this, because I can't fit this inside there. Stick everything. Everything we can. Now, the practical use of the RSAS is probably not better than using the other weapon for now. But I think we'll be okay with it. I'll be okay. I think we're going to be okay with it. I'd rather use that. Knowing that I know we can get more ammo for it later. Take our time. Slowly but surely, we're going to get out of here. That was a very good start, actually. We also have to be very, very cautious about this and not get our butts picked off. Problem is with this heavy loot, I'm going to pretty much be crawling all the way down the exit, which... That isn't necessarily bad at choice, because if I get spotted, not by scab, but by players, it could turn out real bad. So, that's why we're going to try to take it slow. I think we're doing pretty decent though. Just listening up for anything, anything that comes our way. Doing good so far. I 
Now, typically it's a mistake to lay down here, but I don't really have any options at this moment. Low with stamina. Focus. Watch for anybody coming our way. Golden. Golden, ladies and gentlemen. That was good. That was very, very good. 2,500 XP for that. We got the scab kill. We're looking good. We're looking fancy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy with that. That is a big, big win for us. It literally came out of the heavens. It was like, you need something? You need something? You need an airdrop? We'll make it happen for you. That is huge. I wish we could have taken the other bag. I really do, but I wanted to get that fuel early on to keep that. That was really big for us. We got a bunch of different ammo to work with now. Granted, we'd have to get like a 300, but we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Just going to get everything else so we can see what we're working with. Well, this is a full stacked out one, too. What's it working? Oh, it hasn't been chambered yet, so I can't actually see. Well, now that we have a little more options, which is good. Let's think about what we want to do. It's in here. Looks like an M80. Still a good option, though. Get an extra backpack down. All this off. Energy and water still looking good. So we could bring in the apple juice in. Leave the Dashanka. And just keep looking for food. Yeah, because I'm going to hold on to those as well. Not bad at all. Oh, I forgot the armor. I just realized that. I left the armor in that bag. Whatever. We still got made up with some good stuff. I'll take it. I just realized that well, when I was looking, I was like, I'm missing the uh, the gazelle. I really am. But this will still do good. That was my mistake part, because I grabbed the idea rig instead of the gazelle. Yeah, mistakes were made. We'll be okay. Uh, we got all that. I'm thinking for now. Maybe we could go over to customs. You know what? No, we're going to go back to reserve. I'm going to go back to reserve because I want to go get some more medical again just to keep us in a good spot. Try to get some more food as well. Yeah. Try to stick to the same plan. Get ourselves some more supplies. Sad that I left that gazelle because I didn't think about that until I think I was starting to get a little into a state of panic because I want to get out of there. No big deal though. We'll be just fine. Let's head over to reserve and let's do this. All right, we're back at it again for the nighttime, but that's okay. I did modify a couple things. I took off the armor for now because I feel like using what the setup I got is probably not the best. Still using the same AK though, so that way we'll be good to go for a while on that. Uh, let's go this way. However, we did keep the card map kit just in case we uh, get shot. But we are here. We've made it. We've made it all the way to where we need to be. I always just keep checking all the crates and stuff for extra weapons. Keep checking. I'm also gonna pick up some ammo too while we're here. Drum mag. Or PPSH. <laughs> Imagine. Grab all the ammo. UG. I mean, it's not the best, but it'll work. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. And I do need ammo, so. Get loaded up. Basically, just aim for the face. Aim for the face, we'll be fine. Make sure we search everything. I gotta find some more mags. It's definitely something I gotta do. Like, even though I don't have the best ammo, having only one mag to work with and that's it, uh, it's probably worse. But we gotta focus on getting some more mags too for this at some point. I'm gonna take the saline for now. I got a little extra room. Nothing, nothing. Bandage, I can deal with that. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm really looking for Sailawas though, because if I can get the other two Sailawas quickly, then we will be finished with first task for therapist, which would be good. Nothing. 
The grizzly too. Nice. I have to pretty much spam look around since I can't really see at the moment. You guys can't see it. I can't see either. I but I do have a little bit, a little bit brighter so you guys can see. Doesn't seem like it, I'm sure, when you when you're watching, but it's definitely a little brighter than you normally would have. I believe that's everything. Is well, nope. I almost missed. Uh, what's this? Gentlemen. We'll take it. Let's go check the crate upstairs. Or, technically, here, but I have to go upstairs to grab it. I want to see if there's any weapon parts. Nope. None there. Was there really nothing there, though? Well, I'm going to look again. Well, oh, nope. Flashlight. That's for SVD. No, no, it's an AK. Nice. I will take that actually. We could we could probably modify this gun if we can get out. Give us everything we're looking for. We have a weapon here. Nice. Oh, we even got a rangefinder too. Can't put on either one, but that's fine. Ah, <gasps> mag. Yay, it's five for five. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's get it loaded. We got an extra mag now. Let's go. Exactly what we're looking for. An extra mag. Very random assortment of items we got, but that play will be just fine. We gotta get some more food. Look for some more Tashanka. Save that up for now. We'll drink up this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let me through. There we go. We do have more medical down below. I'm gonna check the parts here. Some HK. Block. Nothing of use of, uh, of us for right now, so we're not gonna grab it. Down below we go. What's this me? Another right back. Nice. I'm kind of curious though. If you guys are going to be doing your own hardcore, because I know there's a few people last time we did a series that um, they followed along with us. So I'm kind of curious what you guys are going to decide to do. If you're going to, oh shoot, I didn't mean to drop that. I didn't mean to drop that. Ugh, give it back. I'm kind of curious if you guys are going to follow along on this series too, uh, with your own with your own account. Let me know if you do, and you know we'll kind of keep like a progress update. Like, how are you doing? How's it been? Everything going good? Here we got that. Hope it all. That was a sailor too. We only need one more. I'm very happy about that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go over to the, the, the food crates for a moment. what we can find I almost want to vent I want to venture down like across the way real quick and see if I can get another sailor out of that crate there's a crate right in the middle by the helicopter I may tempt that actually tempt the fates but we'll go grab all of our other stuff first and then we'll tempt the fates go back down Pack of oats. Pack of oats. Peas literally are the best thing in the world. I don't care what people tell you. They're literally the best. I'm really pushing hard on that sugar, you know, that I want to, I want to grab it early on. But it's going to be quite a long time until we actually get to a working moonshine. Uh, maybe. If I find more food, I'm going to drop it. Wilson's. You know what? Sugar, I like I like you and all. Okay, now there's two of them. Now there's two. Now it's tempting me. Nope. I gotta stick to my guts. We don't need it right now. That's something that's important. Flashlight, I'm actually gonna drop you. I almost grab the sugar. I almost grab the sugar just because that's what I would normally do. Just grab it. Um, don't you eat the herring? 
And then I, and I will also grab the milk afterwards. So I think we're going to head out after this. We'll track to see for the last sailor and then we'll move. I do need to go to Woods though because Jaeger is obviously something we need to unlock. There's some really good stuff behind him. I'm going to grab that instead. You know what? Just on principle. We'll grab one sugar. Just one. Just a single one. We'll drop it if we find a sailor. Wall. But just on principle. Okay. Get our stamina. I should be able to make this jump to the window. That's that Scav? It is. Ooh, you even got to shine. Oh, you have the 206 key. That is huge. That is freaking huge. Okay. New plan. Just moved. Move this. What is, is this gonna be? Okay, it's literally that size. Uh drop the rangefinder. That's huge for us. Okay, same plan, same plan. Check it real quick and then we're heading right to the hermetic door. It's gonna be here. Usually it's like a two slot down, up and down. It's not here. Okay. You know what, actually? A couple things are more important. I'm gonna grab those two. We made okay money off of that one item, but we're not here for the money. Check this real quick for better sized weapon. We might actually find something here. Better. The wave. Mm, no, because I need attachments for that. Let's go flick the hermetic switch and let's get the heck out. Is that a leap? I think also have a screwdriver. So the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to get that shotgun that mechanic sells. And if we can get that early on, that's just really good for us. Ooh, ooh, spark plug. I think I need that. Sugar, I'm sorry. You've got to go. I'm pretty sure I need the spark plug to start up the generator. It is what it is. I was hoping to find Scab with some armor. Kind of, you know, get back what we what we left in the on the hideout. Or the stash, I should say. That's fine. This is fine. There's ammo there. It's HP though. Hollow points are not bad though. They're not poor. I mean, they're uh, they're they're okay. They're not good compared to what you can get. Some of the stuff that you you know that you can you kill with it, it's still not horrible ammo. And for right now, we can't really complain. I mean, we, have, we will basically take anything. If it's not nailed to the ground, I'll take it. Happy with this, happy with this. Gotta watch out for raiders, obviously. I, I, I truly want to try to kill some raiders, I do. Because that would be just be a, that would be a huge start for us. It really would. And we need to get out with the basics first. Good, looking good. Did this get hit? I know you can hit. There we go. Come 
I'm gonna eat this real quick and drink this and get the rest of our metabolism up. Oh, we don't have to worry about bringing anything in for the next one. Very nice. I mean, obviously got to make it out of here, but that is huge for us. So I could have probably actually kept the sugar. I could have put this in the, the inside the pouch here because we're, we're allowing keys in the gamma, which is fine. It's whatever. But that's huge for us because it took me forever to find the 206 key when we were doing the Red Riches series. I mean, we're technically still doing it, but uh, it took us forever to get it. And the fact that we found it now is golden. Just freaking golden. I'm happy about that. That's going to be big for us. I'm happy with that. That's a figure. That's a good run. That was a good run. Now, these aren't these first few episodes. I feel like they're gonna we're gonna get some action probably, but at the same time, it's kind of okay that we're starting a little bit more relaxed. Get all this dropped off. Fifteen rounds in that one. We'll find some more for it, of course. You know, they're saying it'll walk. Drop the bag. All right, let's go take a look at the hideout for a moment. This off and real quick, actually, can I modify this? Let's see here. If I take you off, can I put you on? Actually, what's the big difference between these two? Pretty big, actually. Plus six and plus 12. Uh, I'm okay with that. Plus 12. Okay, take that off. Yeah, not bad so far. Pretty good start, if I say so myself. Let's go look at the hideout. Let's see if we need to actually get... I think it's a spark plug and something else. But it's been forever since I've you know done the beginning stuff to this. Yes, welcome to Z Hideout. Although we need to get a couple things first. I think of security. Security. We need to get measuring tape. I think vents. Actually, let's go take a look exactly. We'll scroll through this. Find our generator. So we need so we already got it. So we need a hundred thousand for it, and we need security one. The construction tape. We have enough items here that will make a hundred thousand. Not a big deal. Ooh, also, let's go talk to mechanic. I just thought about this. Gunsmith part one. Introduction. Let's grab the shotgun. We do have to do some more modifications for it, because obviously I can't just be like, oh, let's turn that in. Ha ha ha. That's not gonna happen. However, I, I am okay with the reward that we get for the first part. This is pretty darn good for the start for us. It's gonna be really really nice we'll save this because there are some parts that we need to gather which we'll get one thing about nice about reserve when even though it's like like we're gonna go there a lot it is a very good map for that single reason that there's so many weapon parts that we can use to modify this thing it's gonna be very very useful to us so we're gonna leave it for where it is right now but it's it's looking good it's looking really good um let's see what other trades barters There's a couple of good ones here. We'll definitely make it happen. It's going to take a moment for us to look through all the trades so we can get. Big thing is I need to go look at Jaeger's uh, barter trade for the 133 shotguns. That's something I need to look at. Armor's not bad. Pro uh, propane is not bad for that armor. This is why I grab this. You only need two of those, but. We'll figure it out. So we got enough time for one more raid. One more raid, and then we're going to have to call it good for this episode. Hmm. I really do want to get that, like, finish up the first uh, first task for therapist. And we can do it. We can definitely do it. Yep, screw it. This is the reserve. This is the reserve episode. Let's do it. Let's get in there. 6 a.m. Let's find that last sailor wolf. Let's do this. We made it in. Let's do this. We got a good spawn for it, too. Let's head straight for, well, <laughs> you guessed it, more medical. Although, I am going to look for some more ammo on our way over there. We need it. We need that ammo. HP. Yeah, HP. Okay. Skip that for now. Let's keep moving. Check a couple crates, even some more weapons. 
good so far. I think honestly this is this is probably the better starts that we could have gotten. Not the best, not the worst, but it's definitely pretty darn good. Ooh, S and B. So if we get ourselves a Mosin. Got some good ammo right there. Okay, more more drinks. I I won't say no to it. Nothing in. It was the good stuff. Okay, all right. I am taking certain items just for XP wise, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually get to hold on to all these things we're grabbing. Because obviously, like, we want to hold on to certain things, but not everything. Okay. Take everything we can pretty much get our hands on for now. I thought about going to customs, like, while I was in the middle of the loading screen, I was like, well, what can we do for episode two? How can we give a little, you know, spice to it? I was like, well, we could, could, could go to customs, try to find an, an intelligence folder, and kind of go from there. But I'm like, you know what? It's nice. It really is. But it's not going to benefit us like it would, like, say, like, the Ride to Riches series. Because for that, like, we were using scavs and everything once we hit level 10. This is what we're not really doing. There. We're, we're, we're not focusing on any scav run, so... It's not going to really benefit us in, in any certain way. So that's why I decided, I was like, you know what? We're not going to really worry about that. If we get it, it's great. You know, it's just one other thing that we've upgraded. But it's not something that's super, super important. Huh. A little lacking up here today, huh? Nothing. Keep it going. Let's go check the basement. Check the base. Oh, oh. A little too far to the left. Bingo. That's what we're looking for. All right. Search somebody. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was like, couldn't matter if I searched that or not. All right, awesome. Our last sale of If we can get out, we'll complete that one. If you get like a bunch of medical things too, which would be nice. Pineapple. Anything else? Nope. Kind of want to head down to D two. But you know, I think I'm gonna skip it. I'm just, no, 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 not right now. Not right now. What's this? CPU, I'll take it because there's some trades for it. A lot of drinks in here today. A lot of milk. We'll take it. We'll take it. Anyone turn on? It did not get turned on yet. Okay. Got to be a little bit cautious here. Obviously, keep an eye out for the raiders. Oh! Shit. This drastically changes everything.
Hmm. It's AP rounds. Couple things here. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. Oh, actually. It's not BP. Don't make it killed. You know what? Sacrifice is being made today. Alright, so I'm thinking. Let's go across here. Go Tito. Let's go hit the hermetic. Come back for the bag. We'll get out of here. I thought I killed him when I heard the like like the second groaning. I was like, oh no, he's dead. Yay, we can move out. Sadly no. Sadly no. Okay. I want these because it's for a task. And if I can get those and keep those, that's awesome. Stamina for now. I gotta make it to those buildings at least. Start sprinting in a second. Go, go, go. Yay! 
Take a huge wide bird to the right because that's blue cars, boys. Once we get to the red crate. Almost there. One more sprint, we should be fine. Oh, did it really turn off? Yeah, that's just awkward. I have to go back. little fight man I tell you it can really change everything because I had to fight him then I had to back up get the heels off and everything I'd like to get the gun off of him but at the same time it's not worth it Because if I just get seen for two seconds by Blue Heart and the boys, we're going to be dead.
Need the duct tape. Get to hurry this up before I start running the scab layers. And it just becomes a freaking issue. We got this. Oh, shoot, I'm bleeding. Is I don't want people fighting um, scab boss because if they end up doing that, they're gonna push the scab boss away from the location, which he's like in the middle right now. So he's in a safe spot for us, and people keep freaking fighting him. They're gonna start slowly moving away, depending on what direction the people run. If they run this direction, I'm gonna run into him. I'm gonna have more problems. I prefer to just take my loot and get out. That's all I know. There's a nade right there. Alright, we gotta get our stamina back up so we can actually run. Come on. Gonna keep on a breeze walk for a moment. Breeze walk, a brisk walk would be the word I was looking for. The breeze came out for some reason. You're seeming okay. You're seeming okay. Well, what I say? I said if we run to Raiders, this will make the best start we've ever had. 5,900 XP. We kill the player. We kill three Raiders. We kill ZH12, which apparently is the guy's name. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> and we killed the scab. Best start. 1,100 damage there. 31 out of 58 shots hit. Pretty good accuracy, I'll be honest. Pretty darn good accuracy. Wow, that's so good. That is so freaking good, and I'm so happy about that. I cannot complain about that whatsoever. Plus, the best part of all this is, we get to turn to task. Which is awesome. Also, I know I'm just like literally just tossing all this stuff out. But it makes visually it makes it easier for my eyes to figure out what we got and what we don't have. Okay, we got more bags, which is good. We'll just toss bags on bags on bags. 
Let's use uh, what was in this BT? Oh, PS rounds. Sometimes you can get really good, really, really, really good ammo from those. We'll take the ammo out. Save these mags for when we do the task. Take this out. Save this for later. Got some armor too, plus some extra armor. Oh my, Atlanta, ladies and gentlemen, the start is looking fancy. By the way, do we hit some levels? Yeah, we did. So we got level two health. We already have level five metabolism, which is awesome. First, first episode, we're already at five metabolism. That's gonna help us out a lot. Strength one, we got level three endurance. Not bad at all. Okay, let's head over to therapist. Just say, look, you were looking for three, right? Boom. Enjoy your reward, okay? Now we have to go find a gas analyzer, which is probably gonna push us towards interchange. And I can't say no. Interchange is a fun one. It is definitely a very, very fun one to do. Okay. Very, very good. What we could do also, let's do this real quick. Let's go talk to therapist. Let's sell these two. I think with that, oh, I didn't get the construction tape. I was gonna say, I was gonna go and get ourselves the first upgrade. But we can't do it yet. We need we need to get ourselves some stuff. But not bad. Shoot, I can even sort this. Just for the fun of it. Look at that. Bunch of ammo. Good amount of grenades. Mags. Medicals looking on point. Weapons. Oh, look at that. Look at all that. We got food. We got test food. We got armor. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to end episode one of the Hardcore series. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about today's episode. Don't forget to smash, smash, smash that like button so much, ladies and gentlemen. It really does help out. The algorithm is like comments and likes. It really does help out. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, ding notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.